welcome back, welcome back to another video. Um, before we get into the video, I just want to thank all of you guys who watch the channel and who have subscribed. Um, for me personally, it's a big deal. I'm at 125 subscribers. Yes, I know that's like just pity compared to uh, lots of other channels, but it just means a lot to me. So thank you all so much um, for watching my videos and continuing to subscribe, even commenting. I love when you guys ask me questions um, to get feedback or to give advice. Um, for those of you who may um, need assistance in nursing. But today's video, my goodness, um, today's video is about my shift yesterday at work. And it was um, not one of my favorite shifts. And the reason for that being is, so as you, some of you may know, and lots of you probably don't know, um, I'm currently doing a COVID contract assignment um, here in Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm from. Um, so I'm in my 13th week of my 13th week um, at this hospital. So this is my very last week. Um, I have never been floated to another unit since I've been there, thank goodness. But due to the decline in COVID, um, since this has gone low, so they are now starting to have more of their um, permanent staff um, available for the amount of patients, which means people like me Travelers who are not permanent staff, we draw the short stick. So, um, went into work yesterday morning, you know, like usual. I was just waiting, you know, for a report in the morning, and then the night shift um, charge walks by because, oh, Darius, you're going to be on telly. And I just like froze, and I was just like, no way in my head because one, I didn't want to get floated, two, I have never worked telly before, and there's a reason I've never worked telly, um, and I'll get into those reasons, but I was just like, what the heck? So, you know, I just went about my business, I went to the telly floor, and I ended up getting four patients, and you know, I got a report on all four, and the shift began. So, for starters, one, I didn't want to be there. Two, I don't know how to pay doctors, I don't know, I don't have no idea um, how things work on telly. And so, to begin with, I don't like not being able to monitor my patient, um, my human dynamics at all times. You know, I wanna see their saturation, I wanna see their heart rate, their heart rhythm, I wanna see their blood pressure. And the fact that, you know, you kinda have to rely on the monitor room to let you know if anything bad is happening is ridiculous. And then, um, you know, if you have blood pressure medications, you, um, you know, you have your aid run the blood pressure uh, and you give it based off of that one or you do it yourself and then you give the medication. Uh, so that's kind of like, okay. And then since I'm talking about that, there could be a lot of med errors, by the way. So um, I can't speak for all telling nurses, but like from what I, went through just that day alone, Telly is super just task oriented and it doesn't give you time to really be a nurse. And so, you know, I could see a lot of med errors happening in regards to blood pressure medications, right? So, you know, let's say you have a nurse who's just doing their job and going through the motions, you know, oh, they have to give him lodipine, um, they have to give metoprolol, right? PO got his patient scheduled meds and they don't have the monitor in the room. They don't know what their patient's blood pressure is. So they just give the medication. What if they hadn't checked um, the most recent results, which by the way, on that floor, the uh, they do vitals every four hours, which is like, okay. So let's say your blood pressure um, was 70 over 50 and you just gave um, two, uh, medication to lower that patient's blood pressure because they typically run high, right? So now that patient's blood pressure could be 50 and guess what? You wouldn't even know it um, unless you decide, oh, let me check it since I get the medication or unless it was that four hour mark when your aide checks it. So that to me is like a really big issue. And I know it's like that in like med surgeon and telly in general, probably across most hospitals, but from someone who's used to looking at their vitals constantly, to just relying on like Q4 and not even by you is off-putting, don't like that. So I get my patients and then again, I'm 
have to be mean, it's just the kind of environment that I'm used to, but I have four patients who can talk yet, right? So that means there's four patients who can ask me for things, you know? And I, I don't want to be mean or come off rude, but like I felt like I was just kind of like a maid because, you know, it's like, oh, I want this for breakfast and I want this and that and I want to be placed here, you know, just like asking for things and like me, I'm here to do like perform life-saving measures, you know, like I want to do some tasks or, you know, like I want to critically think about like why you're here, why you're sick. I don't want to be worrying about what you're going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know? So, and I'm not taking anything away from mentors, nurses, or tele nurses. It's just, that's, you, you know, you have people who can talk and ask for things. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, for me, it slows me down. I'm used to being able to just knock out my stuff, um, having patients who are a little bit sicker and be actually being a nurse. So I said that, um, you know, on telly, you're kind of, you don't have time to be a nurse because you have four or five patients. They can all talk, they all need something and you have, they all have new medications, right? And on telly, you know, they're a little bit more sick than med search. So, um, you know, that's an issue at hand as well. I had one patient who, um, had a brain bleed, you know, and we had to make sure she didn't try to get out the bed. At the same time, I have one patient who is in heart failure and is short of breath, and you know, we have to monitor her saturations, and she's also having crazy bloody noses and coughing up blood. She potentially could have a DVT as well. Then I have to discharge two other patients. Uh, one patient was totally fine, but then the other one I had to, I needed to discharge had a potassium of 2.9, so obviously I'm not going to discharge her. Um, I needed to give her, you know, obviously I wanted to replace her potassium before I let her go. Um, she did not want to do IV. We tried that, started to burn, um, which is normal. Um, she didn't want to do the potassium pills because um, it made her nauseous. She would throw up. Okay, so then we had the potassium packets. But I don't want to give her a whole bunch of fluid because she's on a 1500 ml fluid restriction. So that was the task to get that um, going. So I discharged one patient. Other patient um, got the brain bleed. I also had to take two CAT scans. Um, and so that's just another task. And then you have three other patients who need things while you're gone. So it's kind of stressful for me because I'm not used to that. Um, the patient's potassium, I eventually got it replaced and then she vomited like a lot. So out she vomited, I got a potassium drop. Luckily it was 3.9. By that time it was already 6 p.m. So, you know, I didn't want her and she felt really sick. So I was not gonna discharge her. Had her stay another day. Um, so I just give mad props to all of you who work med church, who work telly. Um, I, I've heard, Judge, I've heard the stories about the nurses who work on that floor, on those floors. And like they're stressed out all the time and I understand why. Um, again, not every hospital is the same, but at this hospital, they don't even do rounds. Like they might round, the doctors might speak amongst themselves, but like they don't include you in the care. And that really bugs me because it's like, I have my own issues and concerns for the patients. I would like to just relay them to you um, during the rounds and we can talk about the plan of care, you know? And so, they just, you know, they, they just put in the order. So you could refresh your screen and then you see all these orders and you're like, okay, cool. What about the concerns that you have? So um, then there, I think they they text the doctors. And so, you know, I'm different floors. So in the ICU, the doctors, PAs, NPs, they're just on the unit all, all time, 24 seven. So that's great. You just walk up, hey, I need this, blah, blah, blah. There, you know, you do things different and I don't know, they could, write you off and not be, you know, the kids be like, oh, whatever, you know what you're talking about. So, I don't know. That was different. The whole experience was different. And for me, it was a very long day. I honestly had not looked forward into being off work so bad. Like, I was just like counting down the hours every hour, just pushing through it. Towards the end, it got better because I like, discharged that one patient. So I was down to three. And at 6.30 p.m., you know, she's over at 7, and then they're like, oh, we need to give another patient. But by the time, you know, everything was done, like, the patient never came to me. Thank goodness, because I was not trying to do an admin. So that's my story on Tilly. It was from ICU 
to tell you, you know, I've never done that before. I don't plan to do that again. Obviously, you know, I'm going to float around here and there as I do these um, assignments in different states, but man, oh man, that was rough. So again, um, props to all of you who do Telly and Med Search. Um, you know, Med Search isn't for everyone. Telly's not for everyone. ICU is not for everyone. Bedside nursing in general is not for everyone. So we all have um, our places we need to be. So thank you again for um, watching my videos. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I love, again, hearing from your guys' um, responses. Um, if there's some of you out there who've experienced what I just went through, um, go ahead, feel, uh, feel free to share your experience. And there's tele nurses who, you know, you guys just got it down packed. Um, you can give me some advice on how I can manage things better because that was a rough shit. But that's all for today. I will see you guys next time.